Okay, good afternoon YouTube and welcome to my channel. Um, for those of you who are already subscribed to my channel, or of the 17, almost 1800 people, thank you. And um, for those of you who are subscribers to my channel and do kind of regularly follow my videos, I might notice that the channel name has changed. I apologize for that. I was trying to find something uh, to re I was trying to rename the channel, find something a little more broad because if you've checked out my videos, you'll notice that I have a lot of videos on my cars, my bike, uh, anything that I customize, I'm going to start putting up videos of, like my backyard and stuff for the summertime, um, household stuff, and I just, I, I started getting involved in cologne collecting recently in the last month or so, and I've been buying a lot of different colognes, and I love some of the other people out there doing reviews on them, and so I want to merge that into my channel. Now, I've put it out there already in one of my videos, would that bother my subscribers? And I, I don't think it would because I think that my subscribers generally like my videos, and it, you don't necessarily have to watch it. If you're subscribed, most of the videos I want to put on are still going to be about watches. But I already do have so many videos on other things I'm into that the channel does kind of get a little confused when it's just called Fat Cat Watch Collector. And I created another channel called Fat Cat Cologne Collector. And I'm just not getting a lot of views. And I know these things do take time, but I just feel like my 1800 subscribers would like to hear about some of the things that I'm talking about when it comes to colognes because... You know, part of watches and, and style is about, you know, being the, being the best you can be, you know. I mean, we're not all perfect. We're not all, you know, uh, models and all this stuff. But, you know, I like to look a certain way and dress a certain way. And I love watches and I love to drive, a, you know, a car, just customize anything. And, you know, when you customize, like, a car, it's kind of an expression of yourself. And just like watches, it's an expression of your personality, the way you dress. And I just kind of feel like that it's kind of fun to share these things with people. And, you know, like I said, it's just, it's not just about... Really, this channel is just about me. I mean, honestly, it's, it's really just about me and the things that I'm passionate about. And watches are one of them that a lot of people are passionate about. And there's so many different things out there that people are passionate about. I do like to share them. And, you know, I don't want to mean, you know, the channel is called Fat Cat a Watch Collector. And what I am going to probably do here, and, it's, and again, my subscribers, um, if, if you think it's a bad idea, you know, let me know. I do value your opinion. Um, of the like 12,000 views I get a week, Really, if every one of my subscribers viewed them, it's about 1,800 views from subscribers. So most of my views are still from people who don't subscribe. So I have to kind of take that into consideration, too, and to make the channel something where it's not confusing. If you'll notice, the name I picked, Fat Cat Allure Day Pimp, I was messing around trying to put in different names that I thought might be, I don't know, kind of unique and catchy, and now I kind of am locked into that one. Um, Google only let you change the name so many times that I didn't know that. Otherwise, I would have... Uh, I would have uh, thought more closely about it, but just kind of bear with it. I should be able to change it uh, maybe in the next couple months, and, and if you have any ideas, I might just keep it simple called Fat Cat Collections. We'll see. Uh, so just kind of bear with me on that. Um, also, if you are new to the channel, um, again, the main things I review are watches, but what I mainly do is I don't get involved too much about, like, you know, obviously I love the watch. Obviously I'm going to give it a good review because I bought it. If I didn't like it, I'd return it. So, naturally, I'm not really reviewing them, but what most importantly, I'm showing you what it looks like on the wrist. And that's what I find most important when you're looking to make a purchase, is to see what it looks like on the wrist. Now, I know that spiel I state at the beginning of every one of my videos, and a subscriber of mine said, hey, it would be nicer if you just put that in the description, and you didn't give us the whole spiel, because they generally fast forward that part of the video. But I... I was going to do that, but really, of the people who watch my videos, he's really the only one who has said that. So, give me your opinion. If you think that I should put, you know, just what the channel's about in the description, uh, rather than introduce the channel. Um, I don't know. I still like to introduce the channel because it just, every video, somebody may not find the other videos, may not have seen them, and they may see them down the road, but I think it's important to do a proper introduction. So, that's what my channel's about. I'm going to keep doing that until people tell me, man, it's really annoying, and then maybe we'll change it. But, as far as right now, we're going to talk about this bad boy today. So this one here, I've already done a video on this watch, okay? But I want to do another video because the older videos I put up when I first started are kind of grainy. The resolution's not very good. I have half my head, like my body, kind of, because you know when you put yourself out there for the world, it is, you know, it is, it's personal. It is a little scary, and so I wasn't sure I wanted to do that. But I've been getting so many positive comments and and dealing with so many nice people that I'm glad I did. So I wanted to upload a new video, and I'm going to be, you know, I'm still going to leave those old videos on there, but I'm going to be upgrading the videos. And, uh, again, I'm always open ears. Uh, if you think of any uh, better ways I could bring this stuff across to you, uh, by all means, let me know. I appreciate it. So sorry, my monitors keep keep turning off here. I just want to get a little extra light. It's a little overcast today. So let's talk about the watch. Is why, you, why you stumble onto the, this, this video uh, based on the keywords or through Google suggestions. So we're going to talk today about this one's made by Android USA. 
not to be confused with the Android operating system by Google, okay? This one here, now, right now, let's talk about the company a little bit. Um, the company right now is, they were really, they, they sold a lot of these watches on a lot of home shopping networks and tons on eBay, and now you can't really find them. And the word on the street is that the company is not going under, but he that the owner, I think his name is Wang, Wing Yang, Wing Yang, something like that. I know I, I butchered that, sorry. But um, he's wanted to get out of doing the TV shows and get out of, you know, uh, the, that extra stuff to really focus on design. Now that's been quite some time now, at least six, seven months. So I don't really know. A lot of the stuff they have on their website, there's not much on You can really find these still on eBay. That's going to be your best bet. And this watch right here is, again, by Android USA, okay, called the Millipede. Now Android USA has been around for a while, and I didn't really get involved in Android watches until my father actually picked himself up a watch, which he never buys himself anything. He's so generous. Uh, he picked himself up a watch, and he, he, I think he had seen it on TV, made by Android, and it was called the Silver Jet. Now, this is not the Silver Jet. Now, I like the watch so much because I was starting to get involved in the, the, the Invicta watches. And you know what? You get so much money for the, uh, so much for your money by Invicta watches. You get tons for your money also with these Android watches, and they they're kind of very similar to that big chunky masculine. Um, I'm not going to say they're as flashy, but it, it, it's very subjective, okay? But I think this is a fantastic watch, and you get a ton for your money. Now, the price range is just like Invicta watches, depending on when you get them, depending on where you get them. Right now, these are hard to get. So if you could find them, I would pick one up because, I mean, we hope the company comes back, right, or, or, or reopens or starts producing new stuff. Uh, but right now, uh, there's not there. They say things are coming, but I've been hearing that for a while now. So we'll just have to wait and see. So definitely pick this watch up if you if you want a just a sweet watch for the money. Um, let's talk a little bit about it here, okay? Again, Android USA. Not to be confused with the operating system. They make automatics and uh, quartz watches. However, the really neat thing about their automatic watches, you get them dirt cheap. And let me tell you, this watch is every bit as heavy as an Invicta Venom watch. I'm going to tell you a little bit about it, then we'll show you what it looks like on the wrist, okay? Um, this one here is powered, the information I have on, in front of me here is an a upgraded model, so I couldn't find this model, but I'm going to read you, because the size is uh, the same, most of it's the same, the movement's a little different. So let me just show you the watch close up, okay? Just so you can kind of see. I know the lighting's a little bad here, so I apologize. But it is powered by an automatic movement. Now this movement is the, let's see, the NH... 36A 24 joules automatic movement. Now this watch, if any of you don't know who makes the NH, it's a Seiko automatic movement. And what's funny is that some of the people who maybe don't like the Invicta watch who comment and say, oh man, their movements suck, they're garbage. And, and one guy said, oh, Swiss, um, um, what was it, um, Seiko watches are so much better. Well, some of the Invicta watches I have use the Seiko NH movements. So, and that's what Android uses. And I think all their, their uh, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure Primarily, they use the, the Seiko movements uh, as far as their automatic movements and, and all their Invicto or Android watches. So you get a great movement for the money. And this watch, I mean, this is going to, I mean, I paid $150 for this watch. And I got it on like a once-only deal where they're having like just a sweet like blowout price for them. And I mean, you can't get them. Like this watch every, is worth every bit of $500. And that's generally what these watches go for. I just got really lucky on the deal I got for it. But this watch here, and you'll never get a deal like that again. Right now, though, I know you can get this watch through Fat Cat Watches, my website, through the links. You can get this watch right now for about 250 bucks. So I urge you to pick this one up. If you're new to, to if you've been getting involved in the Invicta watches, and you're new to Android, or you're thinking about the Android, pick it up. You won't be disappointed. If you are, send it back. But I guarantee you, you will not be disappointed with this watch. Um, okay, so full automatic watch. Where, I mean, for 250 where are you going to get an automatic watch for 250 with a Seiko movement? And that's amazing because I love the Invicta watches. You know I love the Invicta watches. But you can't get involved into an automatic Invicta watch in any of the large sizes, like the Venoms. You know, and I don't mean the Grand Divers. Like, I picked up the Grand Diver for about 140 bucks, But I mean the bigger size, the bigger, chunkier watches like this. You cannot get involved into one, in, into one of those for under, like, five $600. And that's a good price. Most of them are, like, 6 to 7 so this is an amazing deal for 250 bucks. A um, little bit about it. It weighs 15 ounces. Okay, that's heavy. That's that's almost a pound, folks. I know you know that, but that's almost as heavy as an Invicta Venom watch. So it is a big, chunky watch. The band on this thing actually is uh, 19. I'm sorry. Uh, the band's nine inches long, 36 millimeters in width. It's a wide band. Okay, 
you can see they call it the millipede because it kind of has that like centipede kind of look. You know, it's really unique. I always get compliments on this one when I wear it. Um, I'll show you the case here. You have this kind of uh, machined, CNC machined case. It's all stainless steel, of course. You have that on both sides. You have this multi-step bezel. Okay, it is a rotating bezel. You have your, uh, your luminescence on the hands and, of course, the number markers. And your, you know, standard crown, of course, uh, and day, day and date, or day of the week and uh, day of the month. You have your exhibition back with the window. I'm sorry if that's a little hard to see. And, of course, the band on this thing is just unbelievable. Nice thing about this watch, too, all these, the band links, these are threaded. So, you know, like a lot of the Invicta watches, you actually have to bang them out or have them sized. This is very easy to do yourself. They're threaded. So, you just basically grab, carefully grab. I put a little microfiber towel on it, grab it with, like, a, a needle nose plier, unscrew it, piece of cake to size them. Um, a little more about it, 19 millimeters in case thickness, okay? Then you have... Uh, Naturally, your screw down function pusher, you have a 53 millimeters by 55 millimeter case size. That's a big watch, folks, 55 by 53. And just so I can show you how big it is, because it's hard to see it. You, I mean, if you're an Invicta fan, you, you're obviously subscribed to my channel. You know I always show off the, the Venom watches. I mean, check it out. I mean, it's as big as the Venom. It's, it's actually a little bit bigger than the Venom because it's a, more of a, a square design. Show the difference in the band. And I'm going to put up side-by-side -side comparisons of all these watches. I just just I, I just don't have the time to really do it or to keep making videos. I will keep making them. I'll try to get one a week, two a week. But, uh, you know, when Friday comes around, I have other things I really like to do. But side-by-side, -side, I mean, just a beautiful watch. The band's what really makes this watch. I mean, naturally, a lot of the Invicta watches, they do a little more in the face. But, you know what, for the price, you know, they got to cut somewhere. And, you know, it is a very basic face. You know, I got the blue. They make it in a black, a lime green, a purple, um, a sky blue, which I was going to get. I think right now you can get that through my site. I think that's on there. Uh, let me just double check here. Let me go to my site real quick here while I got you here, and we'll see what's popping up. Again, that's fatcatwatches.com. And again, I don't, um, I don't ship you the product. I don't sell the product. But what I do is I have linked you to places where I've purchased stuff and that I believe that... Uh, you're going to get the best, fair, the fairest deals and, of course, from reputable sellers. So definitely go through my site if you're going to buy this stuff through eBay because that's that's where you're going to get the best deals and, of course, the best service. Um, let me go ahead and you can just go right to the site. Click under Millipede Watch Android. Okay, so right now, right now you can pick these up for, wow, one of these things right here, 800 bucks. They've really started to jump up in price. Um, they have this one here with an open heart, which is pretty cool too, uh, 427 uh, you get the smaller one, the 48. 48 millimeter is going to run you 268. Um, and then here's a 55, just like mine, with with a rose gold bezel and uh, 55 millimeter case in the blue face. So check it out. You can definitely. Here, oh, here's one here with the open heart. That basically you can see the movement from the front. I don't know if you. I'm not. You know, I'm not. I think you're looking at the balance wheel. I believe I'm not a watch builder. You know, I just I like to wear them. Um, Okay, so definitely go to Fat Cat Watches, check that out. Get one of these before they're gone because, I mean, it's it's a great watch, folks. I'm not going to lie. Let me show you a little more close-up of the band. You have your uh, standard clasp, of course. Nice thing about the clasp on these things here, it's not just like a snap clasp like Invicta. It is actually a locking clasp where you have the two push buttons on the side. And you have a fold-over right there. I don't know what you call it, but... All right, let me. The, here, here's what. Here's why you watch the channel. Throw it on the wrist. So I'm about five foot eight inches tall. I have a seven inch wrist, and I weigh about 170 pounds. So all these watches look really big on me. Let me get back a little bit so you can see what it looks like. You can see it is a tank of a watch. Now they make this one, and you're probably not going to be able to find it, but they did make this one in a 48 millimeter with a square face. And I think they made it in this style too, with the with the uh, well, I consider this a round face, but this one was a totally it was a square, like completely square. And they made it in a full polish. Now I wish this was a full polish version. It is not. It is a satin finish, but nonetheless, it is just a beautiful watch. It's a tank of a watch. I really got to put an effort to give you more wrist time on this thing here because I got a couple comments stating that for a guy who you know talk so much about showing the watch on the wrist, I don't show it enough on the wrist. So just kind of bear with me here. 
because some of you may, this may be all it takes, but I'm just going to keep kind of showing the different angles here. Go ahead and side by side with the Venom here. I mean, they're both tanks of a watch, but... Get a little closer for you here. And again, I apologize about the lighting. I can never really get the lighting in this room where it's really, really great. So, you know, and I'm not, I'm not a professional. My, my channel's not about having professional videos. These are real, real world, normal guy videos uh, shot with an iPad in his home office. I'm not like, you know, some seller, you know, trying to get you to buy. Like, and there's a couple people kind of copying my style on, on YouTube. And uh, it's funny, some of my subscribers call them out. But um, what's funny is that when he talks about the watch, you can just tell, like, he sells them. It's, it's not a passion. He doesn't own them. Like, he's showing it with the wrapper still on it. Like, talking about how great it is. Like, man, I'm telling you, I own this watch. I wear this watch. I mean, I'll never get rid of this watch. I mean, these watches, every one that I have, I made a decision to purchase and I've been happy with every single one. I mean, look at that angle. Look at how huge that thing is. Seven inch wrist. I'll get back even further here. Can I see it at a distance? Like I said, just a tank of a watch. Very masculine watch. There's nothing flashy about this thing. It is just big, masculine, and heavy. All right, well, let me pull up my chair here. Sit back down here and get comfortable. So there you have it, folks. That one is the Android Millipede. Um, 55 millimeter is what they call it. Um, watch. What else about here? Let's see if I'm leaving out anything. Uh, oh, model number is important. Uh, this is the AD757 with the blue face. Uh, that's really about it. You know, I mean, oh, a water resistance, 1,650 feet. So you don't have to worry about, you know, get, getting caught in the rain or jumping in the ocean or jumping in the water with it. There's a nice kind of angle right there. All right, folks. Well, there it is. Android USA Millipede watch. Difficult to get. Supplies are, uh, are really dwindling down. You don't see a lot of them anymore. You'll probably never see it for 150 bucks when I picked it up for. Um, if you're thinking about holding out, I'd urge you not to. Uh, who knows what the company is going to do, whether or not they're going to come back, whether or not they're even going to make this watch again. But it is definitely a very unique watch, and uh, I, I urge you to pick one up. Go to FatCatWatches.com. Get it through there. Check out the links. Um, if you make any eBay purchases, uh, please go to FatCatWatches.com and click through the referral links there because it does help to support the channel and allows me to keep buying watches and clone and putting up these reviews. Um, it, it is helpful to you know cover the server fees and stuff like that uh, for the website. So um, if you don't want to do that, that's okay too. I, I thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe to the channel if you like the content and check out my other videos. I mean, definitely check out the Fat Cat Cologne Collector. For, I only have three videos on there right now, but I'm going to be uploading more. I'm probably eventually going to close that one down or maybe just upload the same content to this channel. I haven't really decided yet, um, but definitely check it out. I'm reviewing a lot of really interesting colognes lately that are very, very unique. And a lot of them smell like niche colognes that you're going to pay four or $500 for. Um, you, you're going to be able to get these colognes for relatively inexpensive and, I mean, get compliments off the right. And that's what it's about, you know, looking good, smelling good, um, taking pride in yourself, being the best you can be, and... Um, do what you like. It doesn't matter if other people like it. I mean, if nobody liked these watches and nobody liked any of this stuff, I would still share with people because there's always somebody who shares your passion and your interest, of course. So I shouldn't say nobody. But um, thank you very much for watching. Check out the website. Subscribe to the channel. And you guys have a wonderful day. Uh, keep checking back. I'm going to upload another video on uh, another Android watch. I'm not sure if... I think the next video I put up is probably going to be another one where I've... I've cut out my head and with the lower resolution I'm going to re like I said fix those videos and put up new and improved videos so keep checking back all right you guys have a great day if you have any questions comments uh, don't hesitate to uh, go ahead and drop one later